So my name is Francesca Ferlaino. I'm a professor at the University of Innsbruck in the Institute for Experimental Physics and I'm also one of the director of the Institute for Quantum Optics and Quantum Information of the Austrian Academy of Science. So I am an experimentalist and I'm working in the topics or in the research area of quantum physics and in particular I'm using atoms in a very special regime where atoms are extremely cold. And, uh, and in this specific regime, the atoms are to behave not as a classical object, but as a quantum object. That means that they start to have some wave behavior instead of point particle. We know in our community now pretty well how to um, manipulate the atom with laser light and how to trap these atoms using magnetic field or using, again, laser light. This we know, so the technical um, path to reach the quantum regime is known. What are the hypotheses we need to use is then what happens in this quantum regime. There, nobody knows and there is no precise theory that it's able to tell you exactly what is, uh, what is happening, because you have to imagine that this condensate or this degenerate gas, we also call it, it's uh, composed of something like one million of particles that they interact uh, all to the other. And there are no exact solution of this problem and the hypothesis rely to the different model we test and we use to understand the system. Because this basic question at the base of future really technological revolution, not small improvement, but really the possibility to have really technologically different uh, environment. The magic things of being really a physicist is that we can uh, build up models which are based on approximation that can describe also what we cannot solve exactly. Okay, this is the key point. And, uh, and how do we know that what we describe is well described? So we know it because um, we can test it. And for example, ultra cold atom, the atoms which I work with, these are kind of a test system for new theory. From a psychological point of view, it's fascinating that you are exploring basic research and you don't know the answer of your exploration. So it's then, it's very fascinating that you have to keep your mind very open. It's fascinating that many times you have surprise. So imagine that now you have the ability to look at single atom. You have the ability to see how single particle behave the ability to cool down so much this atom that they almost don't move anymore and what they do on the other hand they become wave so this is a very fascinating the, 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 the system itself for me the the start price had an extremely important impact i have to say everything changed since i had this start price and the reason is because, uh, so I was a postdoc and then thanks to the start, startup money and prize, I was able to do the step in which I could finally build my own experiment. So kind of uh, uh, build up on my own idea, get some independence, get, get my working group. Also very important was that I developed this in Innsbruck, which is a fantastic host institution for kind of this junior group and to let this junior group growing. Without the start prize, I mean, it would have not been possible or at least not at that this time. Mm -hmm.